Hey everybody, Nova Mad 1966 here. Uh, just trying to go through some of these boxes and get some stuff together. Um, I uh, have been talking to Alex Big Blue about doing a couple of AOKs for some of you people. That's a, kind of a cool Spider Man. Um, but the big question I have on my mind is dealing with all of these books. How do you guys go about arranging your collections? Um, have you got to the point now where you're just collecting so much that you uh, you kind of backed off and you started kind of key collecting or kind of going right in like certain series and things that you you get, or uh, are you like me and you're still buying just absolute just whatever you can get your hands on? Uh, I've tried to slow down a lot lately. Um, in this last little bit. This was a really cool. I like this uh, Marvel Comic Presents. It's a man thing on there. Colossus. It's just a cool cover. Um, do you all uh, have a certain way you do it? Alphabetical order? Or do you just do by series? Or how do you do all that? Here's your web of Spider-Man number one. Had that for a little while. Uh, it's not in the greatest shape. Kind of a reader copy. Set that off to the side. Um, I know I have uh, a few that I really collect now. One of them being What If. And I have a box here somewhere that has a ton of What If. Look at that cover. That's just like... What if the X-Men had died on their first mission? The anguish there. But anyway, um, I'm not going to sit here and show every single book. I just thought I would uh, see what's going on with you guys. Uh, in the last week or so, I've been kind of uh, in and out. Um, last Monday, I ended up waking up in the middle of the night. I work at a furniture store and I also have a barber shop. Um, on Monday, I worked at the furniture store. And uh, I think that one, like Alice gave me that for Christmas one year. Um, I work at a furniture store. So I went to work one, uh, last Monday. New Avengers, number one. Um... I went to work last Monday and woke up in the middle of the night about 1 o'clock. And uh, Jimmy Olsen, I'm, I'm a big fan of Jimmy Olsen. I like any of his one-shots and random stuff they have. Um, so anyway, like I said, woke up about 1 o'clock in the morning and had an awful pain in my side. Um, turns out, when we get to the hospital, uh, the wife drove me over and uh, ended up with kidney stones. And I thought my appendix had burst by the way I was feeling, but... Uh, Turns out it was just some kidney stones, which, by the way, just drink drink all your water, kids. Drink whatever you can. Try to avoid sodas. Whatever you do. That was, like, the worst physical pain I've ever had in my entire life. So, uh, so yeah. So, for the last week, I've been trying to uh, recover and try to get uh, get myself back on track. I finally got back to the, fern or to the furniture store Monday. And, uh, Hail Hydra? Um, I got back to the furniture store Monday and uh, was feeling pretty good. Um, got back to the barber shop today, so that's really awesome. And I felt like I had a uh, an afternoon with the invisible girl that died. Um, so I figured I'd get over here and kind of set some of these comics away. Um, I don't know if y'all have ever seen these. These look kind of cool. I haven't actually read them yet. Marvel Comics, the Eliminator. Just seems like kind of a cool character. Pick those up somewhere for like 50 cents a piece or something like that. So They're thicker, kind of almost like a tray. Uh, yeah, this is a cool cover here. with uh, Werewolf by Night and Ghost Rider. Marvel Comics Presents. Um, yeah, I've gotten to a point now where I'm trying to get a little more collected with what I buy and what I get. I picked this up just because Stan Lee was on the cover. I thought that was really awesome. It's so weird, too, how you can remember where you got a lot of these books. Uh, <laughs> you can be digging through a stack and almost tell, oh, yeah, I got this at a flea market in Indiana, or got this at a comic shop and wherever. Um, this one is in really rough shape, but the wife picked it up for me uh, a while back. I thought that was really cool. And she also brought back Weird War, so you can't argue with that. I think it's uh, the third, number three. It's a creepy looking. Um, so yeah. Just figured I'd run through these. And actually, 
I think I'm going to put together a little bit of an A-OK. -okay. And don't worry, Roger, I'm not going to send you human fly number one. I know you guys talk about that all the time, so I'll hang on to that one. I'll kind of, yeah. We got uh, that girl, Death in the Family. Uh, we got some older Daredevil here. Daredevil 39, again, rough shape. Those early Daredevil covers are really awesome. It's really neat. Um, I need to uh, start dwindling down on some of these. Unusual Tales. Beware the Steel Bird. Um, so yeah, anyway. Where creatures roam. I just love these like really campy kind of monster covers. They're just awesome. Uh, the Glop. I mean, they had to. They were really thinking about that one, weren't they? Um, Amazing Spider-Man: Renew Your Vows. I don't know if you've read these or not, but they're actually pretty good. I kind of liked the the deal with Spider-Man and his family, and uh, the one with his son. That was pretty awesome too. Red Wolf. This is a newer series of Red Wolf. Um, haven't checked those out yet, but bought it in a pack for three bucks. Five comics. I said, yeah, I can be able to sit down and read it. I'm kind of a. I'm one of these guys. I like to get them from the earlier comics and for the first ones and and uh, start from there. Um, let's see what else we got here? Jack Kirby's Fourth World. That's kind of neat. Um. So yeah, this is kind of me rambling and just kind of hanging out, but, uh, let's see here, Bizarro, something about the Bizarro, uh, kind of thing, I don't know, something about those I kind of like, I, I think it's, it kind of stems back to kind of like my what if, oh yeah, this was a really cool cover, this is Spider-Man 789, Marvel Legacy, so, but it's got that, uh, you can't really see it there, but it's got the shifting cover, where it changes, yeah. And my light's not very good here, so that's kind of a cool cover. And naturally, we have uh, the old Secret Wars number one. I've got one of these here somewhere that I've promised to Alex Big Boy whenever I get a hold of it. That's uh, one of my copies. But Journey into Mystery. Uh, let's see what else we've got here. Fantastic Four 230. Fantastic Four 348. That's an awesome cover there. Yeah, it's Spidey and Wolverine, of course. Ghost Rider back there. Hard to beat that. Um, let's see, we've got a uh, Swamp Thing Annual Number 2. Kind of a cool book. That needs to be bagged and boarded. Let's set it off to the side. You've got a Green Lantern Number 29. This one is not in super great shape, but I found it at a comic shop. It was actually out in their regular books instead of being up on the wall. I don't really understand that, unless they just didn't know what it was. But uh, it was one of those situations where I asked them, uh, you know, what they wanted for it, and hoping to get a good deal. And uh, it was one of those things where the guy's like, oh, i got to go to the back room and talk to George. Uh, I think George is basically just eBay, uh, the way I understand because um, he went back and he came back and he, he gave me a fair deal on it. I think I ended up giving like 16 bucks for it or something or 15. But uh, again, you gotta love the old eBay George thing. Uh, of course, we've got Crisis number seven. I need to bag and board that too. Uh, we got a Spider Verse number one variant. Kind of a neat variant. I'm, I'm digging the, the whole Miles Morales Spider Man thing. I think that's a really cool thing. See, this is a New York Comic Con 2019 preview exclusive. We got Thor 181. Thor is one of those guys that I like to read their books. Huh? Their books. I like to read Thor, but I also picked up uh, the Unworthy Thor here the other day. It was like a uh, a collection of them. Oh man, one of my favorite movies of all time. I saw this and I had to have it. Um. Stallone was one of those actors that, of course, I watched Rambo when I was younger and these things, but uh, finally here, the last little bit, I uh, sat down and Alex Big Blue has been hanging out over at the barber shop a little bit, so we uh, actually have been watching the Rambo series, so we finally got, I'm up to Creed on that, so I haven't watched Creed yet, I've got to watch Creed and Creed 2, but uh, yeah, just 
cool show. Cool show, cool movie. Um, I like these two, the Superman's ex-pal, Jimmy Olsen's, where he always seems to be getting ready to kill Superman. So that's really awesome. Uh, let's see, another Daredevil, Daredevil 34. And again, in about the same shape. I mean, it's a reader, but let's be honest, I'm probably not going to go out and, uh, and buy all these things in like a high grade. So there's number 40. Spider-Man Deadpool, I don't know how I ended up with that, but it's here. I actually will probably give that to the wife because she collects those. Uh, so we've got Mighty Thor 450. Let's see. Mighty Thor. Mighty Thor. Tales of the Teen Titans. Raven. Oh, check this out. This is really cool. Legion of Monsters Man-Thing, number one. Whether it's classic Man-Thing or whether it's uh, some of these newer deals, I just I dig them. They're awesome. So, I've got a lot of X-Men, and I don't collect a ton of X-Men, but um, I've got to go through those and arrange them and just see exactly what I have one of these days in case I want to start collecting. Uh, let's see. Weapon H, number one. Um, I don't know if any of y'all have read that, but that is actually a pretty good read. I enjoyed it quite a bit. I'm going to try to pick up some more Weapon H uh, storylines and things. Uh, and the Marvel Zombies. Somehow these find their way to me. I don't actually buy these a lot, but other people buy them for me. And uh, I've got like the hardcover, like the trades of the Marvel Zombies, like one through four or five. Um, those actually Nicholas gave me for a uh, haircut, Spider Comic 7, one day. Another what if? Got a no escape. I should know what that is, but something that probably looked cool to me. I just picked it up at the time. All right, got an Eternals number fourteen. Let's see, and an All Star Squadron number seven. And then a Marvel Presents number one. There's Bloodstone, and then Korax, Son of Tarzan. I thought that was really neat. Um, Tarzan is another one of those characters that I tend to have a ton of them. I never do buy them. I usually get them like random packs or grab packs. I've got some through the years. And the thing. Um, but I really enjoy Tarzan. I like to read the novels. Just the I've always read, always had a book on my on my nightstand or my shelf or somewhere that I was always picking up and reading. It's kind of a cool cover. Big Top Brawl. Um... So yeah, outside of comic books, uh, I actually read more just regular books for most of my life. Always read the uh, Secret Empire number one. It's a neat cover. That I don't know if you can see that. It's just a really cool. Get them all hanging out like a rocket down there in the corner. Pretty cool. All right. Let's see what else we got here. Secret Empire Underground number one. It's kind of neat. I've got a ton of reading to do. <laughs> I've probably read... I've read some, but I haven't read a ton. Um, Amazing Spider-Man number 5, Original Sin. I think that's like the second appearance of Silk, maybe? I don't know. I'm not sure. Uh, let's see what else we got here. Absolute Carnage. Amazing Spider-Man number 31. Don't really have a lot of Carnage stuff. I've got some of the Absolute Carnage from the older stuff, but the Untold Legends of the Batman. I don't know what it is about these little Ashcan Untold Legends, but something about them. Every time I see one, I want to pick it up. Um, and that's the first issue of the three. Um, I think I sent uh, the other the cereal box editions to. I believe Gray Man. I believe. Of course, the Devil Dinosaur. You can't go wrong with Devil Dinosaur. This is number two. Um, these are some of the random ones I've picked up along the way, but Sarah, my wife, actually bought me uh, an entire run of them. She bought me the first issue first and uh, gave it to me for, I think, Valentine's Day. And then uh, Christmas of the same year, she bought me the entire series and had another number one in it. So 
That's really awesome. Crypt of Shadows. How can you go wrong with these books? So, alright. We got Black Bolt and the Inhumans. Alright. And of course, Amazing Spider-Man 365. Got a few of those around, but all of them are just the... They're not the new stands, they're just the regular ones. Um, Amazing Spider-Man number 12. Kind of a cool cover. Um, let's see here. Uh, Creatures on the Loose, number 35. It's Man Wolf. Check that out. Man Wolf and spaceships or submarines or whatever it is, it's really cool. Can't argue with that. Uh, Mighty Thor in Marvel Spectacular, number 8. I'll try to run through these quick. Uh, the Defenders, number 61. It's kind of a cool book. Um, Black Panther, number 9. I'll try to run through these kind of fast. Uh, Amazing Spider-Man, number 19. I don't know why I picked that up. It's just I thought it looked really cool. I don't know. Uh, we have, the, uh, of course, the uh, Quasar pregnant issue, which is really weird. But uh, I thought that was kind of different. We've got some G.I. Joe special missions. And apparently have the exact same G.I. Joe special missions. Uh, Blackhawk. Blackhawk's another character I've always liked. The old ones and the new ones. Uh, usually pick up the one-shots if I can find those. Anything World War II related, airplane related, uh, something like that. Another Quasar. I like this. Enemy Ace special number one. Uh, just look forward to reading... A lot of those. Um, I haven't read these yet, but I got a few sets of these. Um, this Captain America, What Price Glory. I don't know if y'all have checked that series out. Um, ultimately, I feel like I'm rambling on, and I kind of am, I guess. I was just kind of wanted to see uh, what I had here and get some stuff put away and kind of update you guys. Um, I'm going to get a couple AOKs thrown out here. Um, I'm not going to say exactly who I'm sending these to, but uh, how about that? Um, kind of want to leave that up to uh, the surprise of going to the mailbox and seeing what you got there and stuff. Um, I think Spider Comic 7 gave me that one. The Claw. Well, let's see here, what else do we got? See if there's anything left in this little stack that's cool. Um, the all new Inhumans number one. As you can see, I've, I'm just like, I'm all over the place with my collecting. I don't understand how I managed to do this and get all of these. But, uh, Spawn number 15. I don't believe I've ever read an entire issue of Spawn. I intend to. I mean, it's a, it's a pretty good character. It's a pretty good series. Just haven't done it yet. Of course, Lethal Protector number three. Uh, let's see, we've got a Fantastic Four versus the X-Men. Check that out. Alright. But anyways, I've run in entirely too long on this video, but I just kind of wanted to let y'all know what was up and uh, where I've been. And I'm going to get a couple AOKs out here just as soon as I possibly can. Um, I hope you all have a great night. Uh, and we will catch you all later. Alright.